seems to me we did this, but I get fifth and sixth all mixed up and stuff. Now, under division, we are talking about writing uh, division problems with writing quotients as mixed numbers. Maybe we have done this before, maybe we haven't. Quotient with mixed numbers. Uh, for example, and here's kind of the deal. Um, here's a problem out of the book. A 15 foot, a 15 foot long board is cut into four equal pieces. How long will each piece be? If you think about this, how long will each piece be? If you think about this, let's say you've got your board. I'll draw a little picture here. My board is 15 feet long, right? And I am trying to cut it into four equal pieces. So that means I cut it like this. How long is each piece going to be? Well, what process do I have to do to find that? Am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Uh, Bryce says dividing. dividing. So I'm going to take 15, and I want to cut it into four equal pieces. And when I do that, I end up with, I know I get 3, and then I get a 3 left there. Um, and what, I can't remember if we've done this yet or not, um, usually when we end up with this, we have nothing left to bring down. We call that a remainder of 3, correct? But if I asked you to give me a remainder 3 of a board, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. You can't give me a remainder three of anything because there's no. So instead of that, what we need to do is instead of making, when it comes to things like this that can't have remainders, we want to make the remainder a mixed number. Okay, and have we talked about that before? Yeah. yeah. How do we make this, instead of writing it as a remainder, how do we make it a mixed number, Wade? Divide the threes and each three into four pieces. Yeah, but that's kind of complicated for me here. There's a simple kind of way where we don't have to do a lot of thinking. Grant? Uh, you put remainder 3 into 4. You put so 3 into 4. Right. What you do is you take your remainder. It's the top of the fraction. And whatever number you are dividing by is the bottom of your fraction. Okay. And I can cut a board into 3 quarters of a foot. The answer to this problem is I would make it three and three. Each piece would be three and three quarters of a foot long. And that I can do. I can't cut a remainder, but I can't cut a quarter of a foot. So really, unless, the, if it's some sort of a story problem where you can't have a remainder, you're going to need to write your remainders as fractions, not as just remainder three. The book will usually tell you for a little while if you're supposed to write it as a remainder or as a fraction. Uh, another example would be this. Um, uh, four friends split $21. Four friends split $21. How much do they each get? How much each do they get? So you know that's a division problem. You're going to do 21 divided four equal groups. Okay, I get five. They're all going to get five whole dollars. Okay, but there's no such thing as a remainder one of a dollar. Instead of us saying it as remainder one, what is my fraction going to be there, Jack? Uh, it's going to be five fourths. No. Nope. Well, oh no, one third. Okay. One third. Right. It's going to be five and one fourth dollars. Because you take whatever your leftover is, you put it on top of the fraction, whatever number you divide it by, just put it on the bottom. We have done this, right? Yes. We did do this before? I think so. Okay. So basically, they're going to tell you divide and write each quotient as a mixed number, which means it's just simply this. If I'm doing 77 divided by 6, do that for me right now. And write your answer as a mixed 
number, not as a remainder. 6 into 77 as a mixed number. 6 into 77 as a mixed number. Let's see what you get. See if you get the same thing I get. I what would you come up with? 12 and 6 and 5, 6. Uh, let's see what happens. 6 goes into 7 once. I do my subtracting and bring down the 7. 6 goes into 17 how many times? Twice. 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 That's 12. I subtract. I get 5. I said to write my answer as a mixed number, so I take this 5. It goes on the top. And this 6 goes on the bottom. 12 and 5, 6. Everybody pretty happy?